How are you? Good to meet you, sir. Good to see you too. <laughs> yeah, um, I wanted to ask, I mean, we spoke uh, yesterday, you were t talking about adapting uh, the book. How, ch how challenging was it to adapt that screenplay? It, yeah, it was a kind of page one, whole, you know, you, you've got the book, but you have to really start over and realize you got a film. Um, a film structure is very different. You have to decide what your themes are. You have to focus on what works, what doesn't work, and you have to make it your own. You know, it was a, it was a, it was translated, but it was a French novel. Um, it was tough, but I'll tell you, the process of the writing it changed me and my co-writer. It was a very kind of profound thing writing a book about happiness, you know, writing a screenplay about happiness. And I was watching an interview earlier, and you were saying that you ran into some difficulties on set, but that you always adapted very well. I was wondering if you could just give me an example I, of. I ran into um, you ran into some difficulties when you were shooting, but you always adapted very well. Yeah. And I just wanted to know if you, if you can give me an example of that. No, I mean, it's weird, you know, um, this was a really tough film to make. It was like making five or six movies because of all the countries. And every time, I mean, I hate to say this because it's like you're giving people a license to be sloppy, but every time something went wrong, we fell upward somehow. And I kind of... It's weird, I, I almost don't want to say it because people will give you less money to make movies, but it's like when I have constraints and, 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 and problems to solve, I get more creative. So with everything that went wrong, we came out better. You know, we couldn't film in a certain area of Tibet at a certain point, permit issues, whatever, and I had to start contriving it. And I got this incredibly heavy snowfall in a different set of mountains and the film just has this other landscape to it, you know. Uh, it was tough, but, but there's nothing where we didn't fall upwards. It was weird. And you spoke a lot yesterday about sort of returning to your roots for this film. We spoke, spoke on the phone. Yes. <laughs> it's okay, you're forgiven. No, that wasn't me. Yeah, that was someone else. <laughs> uh, you spoke to me yesterday about sort of returning to your roots uh, for this film. Yeah. Are you going to be choosing your films like that from now on, or are you still trying to move your filmography and alternate? You know, I have roots in America as well. I've lived there 18 years. But when I say my roots, I think I mean more my sensibility and being able to be this liberated on a film. And I hadn't felt that since... You probably won't remember it, but a film called Funny Burns all those years ago with Lee Evans, who I spoke to a couple of weeks ago. That, to be able to let my imagination, I have a strange imagination, you know, and to let it run free like that. That's kind of what I mean by roots, not necessarily a geographical place, although being in Britain was really, really nice, but that, that's kind of what I mean. And our final question is, you're going to China, you're going to Tibet, you're going to all these wonderful places. Did you keep anything from on set from all these experiences? Yeah. Did I keep anything? Yeah. You mean like a memory or an effect? Mementos, that's right. Oh, a physical memento. Photographs. I'm a big photographer. And, I, and I'm normally so busy on the set, but I just thought I'm never going to be as inspired as this, you know what I mean? So I, I had my assistant make sure my camera was close at all times, and it's beautiful. What I, and I sit down and look at them all, and it's, I'm really glad I did, yeah. Well, thanks for your time today, and enjoy your premiere, sir. It's good to meet you. <laughs>